Okay. Um, yesterday we set up our unit circle. Today I'm going to teach you guys some tricks that makes your unit circle a lot easier. And you can find all of your trig functions as long as you know the first quadrant. So first, let's draw out our first quadrant. We have a 30, a 45, and a 60 degree angle. Okay. So if you remember that first quadrant, that first quadrant is 3 over 2, 1 half. This is root 2 over 2 and root 2 over 2. And this is 1 half and root 3 over 2. Okay, so that's your first quadrant. That's all you really need to remember. You need to realize that reference angles. You have to be able to find the reference angle for any angle in the unit circle. And then you have to remember that all students take chemistry. That's a mnemonic device saying that all trig functions are positive in the first quadrant. Just sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive in the second quadrant. The tangent and its reciprocal cotangent are positive in the third quadrant. And cosine and its reciprocal secant are positive in the fourth quadrant. As long as you remember that and you know your first quadrant, you're going to be okay. So our first example, the sine of 120 degrees. So what you need to realize is 120 degrees. What's the reference angle for 120 degrees? 120 degrees is in quadrant 2. My reference angle is back to the x-axis, so that's that angle there. So this is the same thing as the sine of my reference angle, which is 60. Now you need to use our all students take chemistry. S stands for sine being positive, so I don't need to put a negative in there. Now sine of 60, just use your first quadrant, sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. Tangent of 570. Subtract 360 to get an angle that we know. So that works out to be the tangent of 210. So now, 210 is in quadrant 3. So when I'm in quadrant 3, I need to find my reference angle. Okay, so that's the same thing as the tangent of that reference angle. That reference angle is 30, so it's the same thing as tangent of 30. Now the tangent of 30 is the same thing as the sine of 30 over the cosine of 30. I don't need to worry about any negatives because tangent is positive in this quadrant. So the sine of 30 is equal to 1 half. The cosine of 30 is 3 over 2. So I have 1 half times by the reciprocal of the bottom, which is 1 over root 3. That simplifies to be root 3 over 3. by the exact value of this trigonometric function. I'm going to change this. I know I have 5 pi over 3 there. Let's make this 4 pi over 3. I'm going to change my example as I go along. Okay, so 4 pi over 3. That angle. Radians are a little bit more complicated. You have 0, you have pi over 2, and then here you have pi which is the same thing as 3 pi over 3. So I know that my angle is going to be, since it's 4 pi over 3, 4 thirds is more than 3 thirds, so I know I'm going to be here. My reference angle is this angle right there. Okay, so this is the same thing as the cosine of pi over 3. 
Now, all students take chemistry. Tangent's the only one that's positive. So this is going to be a negative cosine of pi over 3 because cosine is negative. So now I just need to find the cosine of pi over 3. Pi over 3, that is root 3 over 2. So that's how you incorporate those negatives in there. Next one, cosecant of 5 pi over 4. Again, with the radians. 5 pi over 4 is going to be in the third quadrant. I know that because this angle here of pi is 4 pi over 4. This is going to be 6 pi over 4. And 5 is between 4 and 6. Cosecant is the same thing as 1 over the sine of 5 pi over 4. This is the same thing as all students take chemistry. Tangent's the only thing that's positive, so this is equal to the negative sine of my reference angle. If this is 5 pi over 4, my angle back to the x-axis is pi over 4. So this is equal to negative 1 over root 2 over 2. This is equal to the negative 2 over root 2. You have to multiply. So I have negative root. We have a negative 2 root 2 all over 2. Those 2's cancel and we get negative root 2. Now when 3 pi over 2 is on a quadrant, you can't use our tricks. But you have to realize the unit circle has a radius of 1. So this point right there, which is at 3 pi over 2, for my center of my circle going down, that radius is 0. That point, I apologize, would be 0, negative 1. Remember, this is cosine, sine. So the sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. Okay, there are your lesson questions. You guys have some multiple choice. Um, and please make sure those are submitted on time.